back on uh, part two of the uh, what, oh, Pontiac Vibe seats removal and exchange. I'm in the uh, donor car with the leather seats. I'm going to pull them out and we've kind of stepped up our game a little bit with the Harbor Freight Impact, electric impact. I don't know if you guys ever use one of these or not, but these are uh, pretty nice tools. Uh, I highly recommend the, you know, with the coupon and stuff, I think they're about 40 bucks now. I bought mine about five or six years ago and I use it. Instead of firing up the compressor, I just uh, zip zip with this thing and I'm done. I don't have to wait for the compressor to build up or anything. All right, let's get to uh, jamming. There's two 14 millimeter bolts here in the front. I got the seat pushed all the way back and I'll go ahead and uh, zip this out. Oh, sorry, you guys fell a little bit. I hope you're not bleeding. All right. Mm. That'll be the other uh, reverse. That was a quick trick. All right, I'm gonna move the seat all the way forward. Sorry, I hope I didn't scare you guys. Ah. Pretty nice day out here today. It's Monday. Uh, I think it's the last day of hey, uh, March. April Fool's Day is tomorrow. All right. All right, that's what I thought was gonna happen. I gotta. Move the uh, seat back up a little bit. All right. There's uh, two bolts back here. 14 millimeter heads on them. One there and one here. That one there goes sideways. These little covers on the uh, bolts. Just snap off, snap back on. There's little uh, clippy do things in there to hold them. Hey, monkey. All right. There we go. I don't know why I didn't use that the first time. All right. Now. Put you up here. I have no idea what this thing weighs. All right, there's some sort of electronic garbage in here. Uh, all right, we got a sensor. For the uh, probably for the seat belt thing okay, over here. Sorry for the shaky camera. There's a clip right here and a little Adele clip or whatever that is right there. We got to unplug that apparently. I'm gonna turn you guys off for a minute. All right, on well, the seat sensor doodad gizmo thing, a little uh, clip here. You gotta push this. You get in the picture. You gotta push this down, and that relieves it. And then the uh, clip, you can just take a little screwdriver and uh, take it off there. The reason I'm taking this one out first, because this is the donor car, the wrecked car we're going to try to uh, salvage, and uh, didn't really know what I was doing, and I scratched up the uh, 
door jam a little bit there. So it's a good idea to experiment on something other than your wife's car. All right, you watch me uh, struggle to get this thing out. All right, uh, second uh, lesson on this, make sure you have the uh, back door closed when you take it out so you don't scratch the crap out of it. All right, there it is, it's out, it's not too heavy. All right, I'll bring you guys back when uh, the good car comes back and the seat goes in. Talk to you later. Uh, here's something I discovered. This car has rear uh, floor heat. I had no idea it was there. My wife had uh, a CD changer put in this car right after she got it. And when they put the carpet back in, they put it in like that. And you didn't even know it was there. Hmm. All right. Thank you. Uh, unnamed radio installing people that rhymes with uh, Nest Nye. Thank you very much. Alright, we're back in the uh, keeper car and I haven't vacuumed it out yet and I'm not going to. It, uh, I vacuumed out the other one and it still doesn't look this good so uh, I'm gonna let it be. I'm gonna get the other, other seat in here and uh, get you guys back in here uh, by the way this hole here uh, was the bolt was had a little bit of rust on the end of it on both cars so I'm assuming it's in the uh, goes right into the uh, prop shaft tunnel or drive shaft tunnel because these cars this one's front wheel drive but they also are available in all wheel drive so I just stuck a little uh, light bulb grease in there I was going to put anti-seize on it, but I don't want to handle anti-seize and leather seats at the same time. Because one drop of anti-seize covers like the entire state of Wyoming. Uh, I'll get the seat in here and get you guys back in a second. lost seat track here yeah, it wants to be a bugger all right get this one get this one started you remember that one in the back goes sideways and I think that's uh, screwing with my progress here. Get that one started. Let's move the seat forward. Here we go again with the 3D action. Here's a little bit of rust I was talking about on the bolt, so uh, it's not real bad. Like I said, most of this car's life was spent in the, the parking garage. All right. 
Now, we got all four bolts started. Crank them down. Yeah, there's no uh, covering for the bolts in the front. So. Get the uh, seat harness hooked up here. Get that clip back in. That's all good. I don't know if you guys can even see that. It's all in there. And I have a dead battery. So, let's uh, see how far we can get before the battery dies. Battery dies, I appreciate you watching. And this has been uh, part two of the uh, Pontiac Vibe recovery. See if I can get these clips. Clicky cam. See if I can get these clips in here. All right. Let's go snappy, snappy. I think my tripod's got a broken neck here. edit part of this out might edit out the part where I take this cover off and throw it away all right it's in there there now we've done the uh, two seats and I'm sure the other seats are real similar I haven't gotten uh, the rear passenger or the front passenger changed yet but should put should pretty much be the same if there's any differences I'll get back with you guys one notable difference the uh, passenger side rear seat is a lot larger because it's a 60 40 split folding seat so it'll be a little bit heavier just to be warned all right you guys have a good day thanks for watching